Hey folks, um, first of all, congratulations for being admitted to the master's program at USC uh, in computer science. Uh, my name is Hao Li, and I'd like to introduce myself a little bit. I'm a new assistant professor in the field of computer graphics, which is a subfield of computer science. And um, what I'd like to talk about today is um, what program, what specialization could be really, really interesting to you. So in computer science, there are different topics. There is computer security, computer networks, data sciences, robotics, high performance computing, a lot of different subfields. So one specific subfield we'd like to uh, focus on today is the one of multimedia and creative technologies. And this specialization track uh, is very interesting because it has something, and I'll get you excited about this, about what possibilities you can do with that. So first of all, it has um, networks and databases, something that's extremely important in the age of internet and uh, social platforms, et cetera, et cetera. But I'd like to focus on graphics and vision. So that's the specific domain that I specialize in. And uh, to get you uh, excited, I'd like to show you a couple of examples what computer graphics is. So very often when you think about computer graphics, you might think of like graphics design or something that's very art related, which it actually is. But what we are trying to do in computer graphics is um, it's, it's a field that appears in many, many different domains. So here's an example in computer animation, in the visual effects industry, and of course, we also have computer, computer games. So in, in the games domain, um, computer, real-time computer graphics is an essential uh, topic. And last but not least, um, these are very you know, specialized uh, categories of applications that are you know, in the high-end industry. But it could also be something for ordinary people. Uh, for instance, if you're using Photoshop, it includes a lot of very sophisticated algorithms um, that are based on graphics, image processing, et cetera, et cetera. Here's another domain, which is computer vision. Computer vision, uh, in computer graphics, what people try to do is they try to bring, make things look very real. In computer vision, what people try to do is bring things from the physical world back to the digital world. So one example is, if you have an image, how can you actually tell a story? So they develop sensing technologies. Here is a, an example of what people do in computer vision. They have cameras and they take multiple pictures and can basically reconstruct a three-dimensional scene in the physical world. Uh, these applications uh, don't have to be you know, in surveillance and all these things, but they appear in um, applications such as Google Earth. Right? So Google Earth, if you open that, uh, if you download uh, the application, you have access to a three-dimensional world that has been fully automatically reconstructed from images um, from simply just pictures. So I'd like to show you a couple of examples where computer graphics also appears. So it's not only in your cell phone or you know, as an interface to use your operating system, but um, it appears in a wide range of applications. Right. So here's an example in home entertainment. Most of the uh, uh, Xbox, PlayStation have a form of sensing so that we can develop new technologies to have a human-computer interaction. And human-computer interfaces are very important. Here's an example of what people have been thinking about what they could do with the Microsoft Connect. Um, so these could be applications in, um, in, uh, in the health industry, trying to um, manipulate three-dimensional information more efficiently. But last but not least, um, we're also interested in mobile technologies because they will have new um, sensing devices that go beyond what a traditional 3D camera can see. In the future, we will basically experience um, sensing devices that could be attached to mobile phones, cameras, or laptop devices that sees the world in 3D. And one of the research areas that not only us are working on uh, is the domain of how can we actually process this type of information automatically and use computer science um, algorithms to develop more, um, to open up all these possibilities. So I'd like to introduce us a little bit uh, from the computer graphics side and actually in vision as well. So we're basically world-class um, scientists here. We have Yoni Barbich, Mark Bolas, Paul Debevec, Gerard Medioni, Ulrich Newman, and myself. 
um, who basically represent uh, the team for computer graphics and computer vision. Uh, we won many awards. Uh, three of us got the MIT TR35 award. Paul Debevec has a SciTech Academy Award, which is basically the Oscar for technology, and a lot of other um, big awards. So our uh, one thing that is important to notice is that we actually cover a broad range in the field of graphics. We uh, Everything from 3D acquisition, geometry processing, 3D modeling, rendering, animation, and simulation. And we also have active collaborations with um, some of the top players in the industry, including Weta Digital, Industrial Light and Magic, Disney Research, uh, Adobe, Adobe, Chevron, Boeing, Activision, et cetera, et cetera. The list is um, infinite. And what it means for the master's program is that we potentially can also establish some um, research projects that could be part of um, an in industrial collaboration as well. We also publish at the top conferences in SIGGRAPH. I can give you just one example. We have a master's student uh, working in my lab uh, since I just came here, and he already had a paper for the top conference in computer graphics, which is at SIGGRAPH. So, Here's a few samples of what kind of research projects we're actually working on. So our research projects include you know, physical simulation that are extremely efficient, that run 1,000 times faster than uh, traditional ways. So Yuni Barbic's group is um, studying the ways of reducing complexity. Um, we have uh, tight collaborations with USC ICT uh, where uh, Paul Debevec's group is basically developing the next generation technologies that allow you to capture the digital world at an unprecedented accuracy. So here is an example from the light stage where he basically replicates a person that looks absolutely real. There is also some focus on creating uh, realistic faces. This is a collaboration between USC ICT and Activision where they basically show sort of like the first real-time facial animation that is that sort of crosses the, the uncanny valley. Here's some examples of my work. I, I work a lot on democratizing uh, computer graphics technology so that it could be commonly used for everyone. I also work in the space of 3D digitization. And here are like two examples on capturing faces and also on hair capture. So I also focus on things that cannot be captured using traditional techniques, but things where you actually need to involve a lot of knowledge in geometry processing and um, numerics. So what we like to propose in this uh, specialization uh, for uh, multimedia and creative technologies is a track that allows, that spans a lot of these uh, research areas and allows you to have the possibility to dive in more into these research areas or work for companies that um, you know require these uh, type of emerging technologies. So um, in graphics and vision, so you can see we actually have a very broad range, um, a huge, a very large spectrum of different uh, topics uh, from 3D graphics rendering, computer vision, geometric modeling, artificial intelligence, traditional image processing, also more uh, new topics such as geometry processing. Um, in order to give you the foundational knowledge, uh, it also involves a lot of um, um, you know, basic classes such as computer system architecture, but are fundamentally uh, extremely important for you to uh, build these foundations in order to specialize in those areas. So we basically make sure that you have the foundational knowledge but also access to all the trendy and really um, specialized topics in graphics and vision. In our classes, we also offer different things such as um, you know, hands-on experiences. Here are a couple of examples. Uh, we give you some um, experience in you know, really trying out these things. You have, we really believe that you have to um, touch the technology in order to really understand how things work. We, uh, Here's an example from virtual reality. We have 3D scanning sessions in our classes. This is like entirely new. And basically, we, you know, we include discussions on what are the limitations, what are, how does the algorithms work in detail in a way that the students can actually see those. 
And here's another really interesting example, which is in 3D printing. So we basically bring 3D printers inside the class and let the students really play uh, with these things to get the best possible experience. Uh, another thing that we do to really enhance um, the, um, the curriculum is we also invite a lot of exceptional speakers uh, from all over the world and uh, particularly in the top places we had uh, in the last semester we had uh, speakers from Princeton, we had speakers from Disney Research uh, from Zurich and uh, professors from Berkeley, uh, some invited speakers from Stanford so we basically try to make sure that the students get the best possible experience here uh, at USC. We also include you know, really fun projects in our um, lectures, uh, for instance, uh, graphics competitions. Uh, I have to say they are really, really competitive. Um, we have uh, amazing uh, demos that we present in the end of the year. And the, pr the students basically just present to each other and uh, we give out awards. And uh, you know, just to give you a little taste of what uh, kind of stuff we do. So why is computer graphics and vision a very uh, cool thing to do at USC? And speci specifically for within the School of, uh, the school of uh, Engineering at Viterbi, is uh, we basically have also wide access to other schools. We have access to the School of Cinematic Arts, which is the number one in the country, USC Games as well and uh, USC ICT, which is off campus, but we really try to make sure that the students can experience different things and can choose between uh, the topics that they really wish to work, work on and that they get a really tight infrastructure to enable these kind of um, things. Um, this is basically an ad to show like Los Angeles is the uh, high tech and the capital of entertainment, it's a high tech city. Uh, Disney is here, DreamWorks is here, we also have all the big players in games, EA, Activision, and of course uh, Google, uh, which is basically all the internet companies uh, also growing in uh, Los Angeles. So to give you a little perspective of what you may expect um, after you graduate, so this is hopefully the day that will come after a year or two, and after you graduate, the question is what are the next stops, right? So of course we will encourage all the students to go to the best places they could actually go, whether it's in academia, they can pursue a PhD study right after uh, their masters, uh, we'll try to encourage them to apply for all the good schools, including ourselves, but also what are the possibilities that you can do in industry, except for doing a startup for instance. So in the industry what you can do is, you know, like all the big internet players are working also as well in the domain of um, multimedia and creative technologies, more specifically in computer graphics and vision. Uh, Google is building Google Earth, Facebook has, is building new technologies on uh, virtual reality, so you may have heard of uh, Oculus Rift. Amazon is a big player in computer vision as well. Everyone is trying to build you know, drones that can recognize ourselves, self-driving cars, Etc. Etc. Software companies are also uh, using, uh, developing a lot of new technologies in the domain of computer graphics and computer vision. Here are a few examples: Adobe, which is famous for Photoshop, um, Illustrator. Behind all these softwares, you have a lot of very sophisticated um, 3D graphics and vision algorithms that support users to that allow users to develop things that they couldn't do before. Autodesk uh, is you know, uh, famous for CAD software and also 3D modeling animation packages that are used worldwide by all the major visual effects companies and Microsoft Research as well. Microsoft Research does a lot of uh, new technologies for home entertainment such as the Xbox. They produce games. They also produce um, 3D software uh, for recognizing people and a lot of other uh, different applications. Uh, we also make sure that um, uh, you know students also get um, access to uh, hardware companies. Hardware companies such as Apple, Nvidia, Intel, HP Labs are also developing technologies that you know. Uh, whenever you're working on hardware, you want to have you know there's always software in it. So computer science is an important um, topic in those re uh, those areas as well. We have uh, you know 
having a background in multimedia and creative technologies also allow you to have a good access to all of the game companies as well as all the vis visual effects um, uh, in, in the field of visual effects. All right, so that's basically it. Um, I uh, encourage you guys to um, consider and apply for the multimedia and creative technologies. So I just basically showed you an overview of what are the possibilities of what you can do and uh, what are, what's exciting research topics we have in the, this specialization. Thank you.